Gen 13 was a comic book published by Wildstorm, which at the time was an imprint of Image Comics, though later it became an imprint of DC Comics. Image was made out of employees of Marvel who left to form their own company and do things their way. Though, to be honest, most of the characters they created were XBs of the characters they were already working on at Marvel. Some of the books were pretty good, but others were obvious bait at their target audience of brain-dead teenage boys. Gen 13 was one of the latter. Essentially, it was like X-Men, only with a lot less characterization and a lot more sexuality. What's interesting is they originally wanted to call it Gen X, but that would have infringed upon Marvel's idea for a teen-centric X-Men spin-off that had come out around the same time. Go figure. Anyway, this movie is actually really rare. It was shown theatrically a grand total of one time at a convention, and then it was released on DVD in parts of Europe, but was never released in the United States, despite being produced here and for an American audience. The reason? Well, by 2000, all the initial hype surrounding Gen 13 was pretty much gone. And this movie? Eh, she's not so good. The comic Gen 13 is something I barely remember. It wasn't very good. It proposed itself to be an alternative to the X-Men, but was really just an excuse to draw mostly naked girls punching things and getting what little clothing they have ripped off, with lame attempts at humor. Unfortunately, the movie is the comic to a T, and all that implies. But they still managed to half-ass it. The team from the books was five characters, but in this, they really only focus on three, Fairchild, Grunge, and Freefall. If you're wondering what their powers are, well, Fairchild is basically Ms. Marvel, Grunge is basically Absorbing Man, and Freefall is basically Psylocke. So, there's your answer, Fishbulb. The other two characters, Burnout and Rainmaker, are only in cameos in this movie. Anyway, the movie mostly follows Fairchild, who doesn't fit in at college because she actually wants to learn. So, she leaves to join Xavier's Institute for Gifted... Uh, I mean, wait, it's called something else in this movie. Anyway... She's not even aware of her powers, nor are the other kids, who are all the children of members of Gen 12, who also had powers but were killed by the government. Fairchild pokes around where she isn't supposed to and is chased by the government, and they start shooting at her, and that shit makes her powers activate, and eventually the other two get their powers as well. The main villain is Threshold, who is stupid and annoying and stupid. The characters really all are. They don't have much personality. Freefall's entire characterization is that she smokes cigarettes. Wow, so edgy. Grunge is hungry, Fairchild is a nerd, that pretty much sums up all the characterization in this movie. There is a few talented voice actors here. John Delancey shows up to play the team's eventual mentor, Lynch, and Threshold I'm pretty sure was played by Mark Hamill, but wow, with those two you'd think the movie wouldn't have such butt-awful voice acting. I mean, it's not all awful. The animation is pretty good, and the characters are competently drawn, but man, do I hate grunge. He's voiced by Flea, who should stick to playing the bass guitar. Overall, Gen 13 is a very interesting artifact of bad mid-90s comics, and is worth tracking down only for its rarity, but it isn't really interesting or good or really worth your time. I give it a 3 out of 10 for being almost tolerable, but not really.